In this video, I will show you how to create a service on Legit step by step. If you've just registered and you have filled out your account settings completely, you have uploaded a profile image and you filled out your seller profile, you can then begin creating your first service. To do that, please click the merchant icon to the left of your profile picture and click on services. As you can see, I already have some services created, but to create a new one, you can create a new service by clicking the purple create new service button and begin by entering your title, subtitle, make sure you select the appropriate category your service should be listed in. Our customer support team will um, make sure that it is categorized correctly when they review your service for approval. Here is where you can decide if you want to make your service recurring, which means that a customer can subscribe to your service and have it auto renew during a certain time frame, whether it's a week, every two weeks, 30 days or 60 days. I do have a help desk article for you on how to set up your service to be recurring. And you can uh, search for that in our help desk library. And here, this is where you can allow back orders if you get many orders active at one time, you can allow back orders and limit how many active orders you have at once to just help you get caught up if you get a lot of orders. So before you can select all these, you'll need to have your title and subtitle and category selected. You want to have a shorter service title, something that can still be displayed in the preview across Legit let me show you what I mean by that. So our customer support team will deny services that start with I will, I do, I can, I can do this for you. Uh, it's best to have a service title that is kind of shorter to the point, five words to six words that can be seen in the preview um, in each category and subcategory. Then the subtitle can further explain what you'll offer. You'll then select your category, your subcategory. I've entered how many active orders I'd like. I wanna allow back orders. And you can read this disclaimer here by limiting the number of active orders on the service. You are only allowing that number of orders to be active at one time. So five orders active at one time. If you allow back orders, people will still be allowed to place an order. However, their order will not start until you complete one of your current active orders. Legit Plus members have the option to also turn off affiliate for their services. This is a nice perk for our Legit Plus members. If you are interested in learning more of the other amazing perks of becoming Legit Plus, click the pricing button here and you can view our plans. You can also make a service public or private. If you want a specific customer only to have access to this specific service, you can turn off this toggle and this service will be made private. So only one customer can access that. But I'd like this to be public and I don't mind getting affiliate. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on. Affiliate allows for our community to promote your service and help you get an order you would not have gotten otherwise. And I don't mind, so I'm gonna leave that on. And then when you're done with those settings, click Save and Continue. Then you're going to customize your packages, what you're gonna offer. The first box here is just naming your package. It could be package one, it could be the gold package, it could be the awesome package number one. It's just the title of your package. Then the description is further detailing the deliverable, what you will be offering your customer and what they can expect when they order this package from you. Are they going to be getting 10 backlinks? Are they going to be getting five paragraphs? Are they of you know SEO optimized content? They need to know specifically what they will be getting in this specific package from you. And you'll put how many days it's going to require you to do this specific task and your price, how much you want to charge for your work. And if you want to offer revisions, 
you can offer zero revisions if you don't want to offer any or however many you like. And then if you want to offer more than one package, simply turn on the toggle for up to three packages and you can offer up to three. I'm going to just offer one. There is another help desk article that further details what review additions are, but basically if you want to offer this service and each package at a major discount in exchange for an honest review of your service, you can do this. Turn this on, you'll enter the number of, of review additions. Um, if you are not a Legit Plus member, you can only offer your service as a review edition one time. Legit Plus, we get three times, so that's cool. Um, then the price you enter in this box here, the price you want to sell the review edition at, is the price your customer will pay. So if you put zero dollars, your customer will pay zero. However, it's also an exchange for a guaranteed honest review of this service. If you want to add any extras to your packages, you can offer them here. This could be maybe a 24 hour express delivery, an extra email campaign. If you offer email copywriting and you want to offer an extra email, uh, maybe offer five more backlinks for an extra $10. This is what you can do here and how many extra days it might take for you to do that. And then after you enter that here, make sure you click add. You can further edit that by clicking the pencil or click the trash can icon if you want to delete that and you actually change your mind and you're like, never mind, I don't want to do that. Then click save and continue. Here is where you'll actually detail your service completely. If you have a URL, um, from your YouTube, your personal YouTube channel about your service and what you offer. You can enter that here. This is not required. You can leave that blank. Tags. This is for optimization purposes and help with your service getting seen in search. Um, you can start typing in a tag related to your service and what you offer. And you can do a maximum of six. But this is required, so you should enter at least one. Your meta title and meta description are for SEO purposes. Your service can be ranked in Google if you optimize it properly. And we have a help desk article that will guide you on how to do that as well. Your meta title can be the same title as your service. And then the meta description is Again, just further detailing your service and what you offer. Um, then make sure here to detail your service. This is your sales copy. This is where you're convincing your customer to buy this service from you. Let me show you an example of some really great service descriptions. Here it is. This freelancer, um, it further details their service, what they offer. They're even showing um, examples and reviews and how their service can help their business and they're showing analytics here faq disclaimer refunds these freelancers are fully detailing what their service is what they're offer what you can expect if they if you buy this this service from them um, they further detail each package so again you want to be as detailed as possible and convincing that's what your sales copy is for and when you describe your service. And when you're done, you want to click Save and Continue. Please note that if you have any spelling errors or grammar, um, our customer support team will reject your service and ask that you further review and make appropriate edits in your service description. If you have any outgoing links, if you mention competitors, or if you mention anything prohibited that we can't uh, feature on in our marketplace, um, your service will also be rejected. We have a help desk article that will fully detail all the prohibited 
uh, services we can no longer offer. And so please check that out in our library. Make sure you hit click save and continue and when you're done. Here are your requirements. Now, this is the requirements that you need from the customer in order to do the work. So for you know backlinks, you might need their URL and anchor text. Um, this is just what you need from the customer to do the work. I want to make sure that this is required because I there's no way I can do this if I if I don't have it. So I want to make that required. If you select this box, they can't proceed to start the order until they you they provide you this information. Here is where you can add questions you want the customer to answer. If you need anything, any specific information, you can add your question. You can offer free text where they can fill it out on their end or multiple choice, and you can enter options for them to select. Um, or maybe you need um, them to attach a file for you. That can all be done here, and this can be made required or not required. And then when you're done, make sure to click add. The gallery here is now where you'll upload a thumbnail image. We accept 500 KB file size for your main cover photo. And that's where you'll put here in your main cover photo. You can add videos and also PDF. Um, and also for a Facebook image, this is when you'll if you share your service in the Facebook group or on Facebook to any Facebook group community or your customers, this image here will crawl on Facebook specifically. But you'll need to make sure that you upload your main thumbnail image for legit in this section here. Once you've added your thumbnail image, click Save and Continue. So my, I wasn't able to proceed because I need to add a larger image. So make sure if you're, if you're unsure while, while you're not able to proceed, you can hover your mouse over the image and you'll receive the message to what you'll need to do. You'll know that your thumbnail was successfully uploaded. It will drop here and it will be pending admin approval. When you create a service for the first time and when you make edits to an existing one, all um, new services and service edits will be sent to customer support for approval. But you can further customize and publish your service. And our customer support team is very quick on reviewing services. Um, normally it can take up to 72 hours. However, it's often much, much sooner. FAQ section is frequently asked questions. If you get common questions from customers um, that you have to answer often, this is a great place to add them. You can add a new FAQ by clicking this button, add the common question and your answer. And then click add FAQ. You can edit that and delete that all in the same place here, and then click Publish. Once you click Publish, you'll see that your service is pending admin approval. Let me do that on the back end. And I'll refresh. And now my service is approved. You can view it live by clicking on your profile. You'll see it live. And also you can preview your changes too. If you make any service edits and you wanna preview those changes, just go back to your Merchant Center icon, click on services, click your service, and any edits that you make, you can click save and preview before you actually publish it again and send it to us for approval. So say I want to add more to the description save and preview, and you can see your service live before um, you send it to us for approval and it being actually published and live on the site for customers to see. If you have any questions at all um, about creating a service or anything else legit related, 
please do not hesitate to contact us by clicking the purple customer support chat bubble on the bottom right hand of your screen and send us a message. We're here for you 24 seven. Thank you for watching and thank you for using legit to get more stuff done.